Hello everyone, it's Phil here doing another tech review and tweak guide. In this video we're going to have a look at Space Quest 4, so let me just double click and run the game and see what it looks like. So it's going into full screen and we can see that the image on the screen is quite small, it's uh, letterboxed on all sides, so let me just press escape and go skip it and it's using sound blaster sound which is not bad but can be improved by using uh, Roland MT32 so we're just gonna go quit back on the desktop so you definitely need to get your uh, Munt MT32 emulator installed I'll put all the shortcuts down below in the description uh, under options make sure that you have the ROMs please don't ask me where to get them from I can't help you with those okay so let's get started uh, we're gonna start in the DOSBox SQ4 config file and that's where we have to tweak a few things so the first thing full screen resolution instead of original set that to your native resolution of whatever your monitor is on mine it's a 920 a 1920 by 1080 monitor um, if you do toggle between full screen and window mode, which you can do with Alt, holding down Alt and pressing Enter, you can uh, toggle between full screen and window mode. I usually go with 800 by 600. For output, there are three choices. You can go with OpenGL, OpenGL non bilinear or direct draw. OpenGL gives you a softer but more consistent image, whereas OpenGL non bilinear and direct draw will give you a sharper uh, pixel look. Um, but you'll see that some pixels are different sizes, so that might be uh, distracting. So I usually go with OpenGL, that usually looks pretty good. Okay, let's go down, there's nothing to change here. We definitely have to uh, correct the aspect ratio, so let's set that to true, otherwise you'll have a stretched uh, widescreen image and change the scalar option to normal 3x. Now. Um, with the processor, it's set to auto because this game is quite speed sensitive and it might have some uh, timer bugs. Um, let's go with something around 4000 that should do the trick. For the sound, that sample rate is pretty uh, bad, so let's change that to 48000 for some better uh, sound. If you do playing with Sound Blaster, but we're gonna change it for the Roland MT32 Munt emulator and we gotta get our MIDI config number here and to find that number we go back up a folder and into the DOSBox folder and we run DOSBox and then we type in mixer slash list MIDI and here we are here are all the MIDI devices on my machine and number two is the MT32 synth emulator which is Munt so let's close that and all we have to do is put a 2 in there. Now again if you do play with the sound blaster let's boost the sample rate a little bit to 48,000 and that's about it. Now I'm gonna save it and before I change to the Munt MT32 emulator we're just gonna play it with the sound blaster. Um, I just want to show you the, the main difference So the game is now nice and full screen um, in the correct aspect ratio and the sound blaster sound should also sound a little bit better. So let's just quit that. See ya. And now we're just gonna change the game to use the Roland MT32 instead of the sound blaster. And we're gonna look for one specific file here, this file, resource config. Um, GG.com removed the install executable, which allows you to change the configuration. So we're just gonna open this manually. And instead of SoundDriver having uh, the adlib, we change that to the MT32 driver. So we just type in MT32, and then we go file save 
and that should take care of business. Uh, so let's run the game and listen to some MT32 sound and music. So yeah, it definitely sounds a lot better than what we had before. So let's just quit. And I'll show you one more uh, tweak that you can do. Instead of playing the <coughs> game in DOSBox, you could try ScumVM, which is uh, and it's not an emulator, it's an interpreter. So it replaces the game engine, so to speak. So what you do is you just get grab the latest version of Scum uh, VM. Um, seems to be 1.70. Click on Add Game, and just navigate to your GG Space Quest uh, 4 folder, and press Choose. Um, there are two options. Not quite sure what the difference is, so I'm just going to go with the uh, DOS version. Press Choose, and a couple of things we have to change here, and. Uh, Engine, we untick preferred digital sound effects because the Roland MT32 can actually, uh, well, let's put it that way. The Roland MT32 generates a lot of the sound effects and if you didn't have one and you used the Sound Blaster, it would just uh, play recorded versions of the MT32. So under graphics, we're gonna tick override global settings and we're gonna change this to open uh, the OpenGL non-filtering. The standard OpenGL seems uh, very blurry uh, compared to DOSBox. Render mode, we can leave that. We turn, turn on aspect ratio correction and full screen mode. Under audio, we also override the global settings and we change the music device to our MT32 synth emulator, which is uh, MUNT. And then under MT32, we also override the global settings and we tick this box true Roland MT32 device so that this is a proper MT32 and then we press OK and we click start and the game should once again be in uh, full screen with uh, aspect ratio correction uh, uh, working there we go and we should also have MT32 music and sound effects Just skip that and we just go forward to the game. And the main difference are, well, it's really hard for me to give a, a recommendation of what to use DOSBox or ScumVM. Um, the main differences are this, that in ScumVM a few things work a little bit better, for example, uh, speed issues, uh, you, you don't run into speed sensitive issues and you can also see all the animations in the in the correct speed, so that it's quite good in that regard and of course you can run ScumVM on all sorts of machines, not just on a, on a Windows PC or, uh, or uh, a Mac and that's really it, so let me just quit. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you are playing this game and using this card, you should should should, should get a, a nice image quality, good sound, good music out of the game. And hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it a little bit better. As always, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Also check out my website, philscomputerlab.com. Lots of interesting things on that website.